What's up, it's your boy Dynast. At the end of this video, make sure you go to www.dynastamir.com. Check out our indigenous African clothing, fashion, and art, um, and accessories. Also, go to searchforhuru.com and contribute towards um, our documentary. Also, learn more information on the documentary there. And then go to amazon.com, search the name Dynast Amir, buy a book. I made them affordable, so buy one. Wanted to shoot this video on um, how FUBU has exploited black people these last 20 years. And the reason why I say that, if you listen to the interviews done by Damien John, now he's saying that FUBU never meant for us by us or for black people by black people. But when FUBU was in his infancy, when FUBU was being blackballed by white department stores and not being allowed to be sold in white department stores, when FUBU, when they would go beg black entertainers to wear their gear so they could blow up, you know, they were rolling with the narrative as far as for us bias means for black people by black people. But now, since Damon John has, um, I guess, is trying to go, has trying to, has, is trying to cross over, you know, he's on Shark Tank now. I think FUBU even, FUBU even sold. And I think FUBU is very popular in Japan. Now he's trying to change the narrative or the story to that it never meant for us by us. But when FUBU first started, and again, when FUBU was being blackballed by white department stores, when FUBU was, you know, approaching black entertainers like LL Cool J to wear their gear so they could blow up, they rolled with the for us by us narrative. When FUBU first blowed up, you know, when someone would say, hey, FUBU means for us by us, for black people by, by black people, for, by, for black people by black people. You'll never hear Damon John correct, correct somebody and say, no, it's not. That doesn't mean that. But since he's crossing over now and he's going mainstream, now it's an issue. Since he's made his dough, now it's an, now it's an issue. So basically, FUBU exploited black people to, to get it cracking and to blow up and become profitable and, you know, become mainstream. But now since he's already, since he's already mainstream, it's no longer, he, does, he no longer needs black people and there's no longer for us by us. And the reason why I wanted to shoot the video, again, part of it, partly because I guess Damon John is engaged or married to a white woman. And a lot of people have issue with that, which me personally, I don't care. But I'm not surprised because... Him marrying a white woman is now his official, it's like the icing on the cake or the cherry on top of him officially crossing over and going mainstream. <clears throat> you know, and, and the reason why I'm not surprised because if you, if you listen to Damon John interviews from like the past two years, two, three years, he makes it a point to correct anybody that says, if they say that FUBU stands for for us by us, he makes it a point to correct them and say, no, it does not. It means the culture. Like what culture? Hip hop culture. And anybody can enjoy hip hop culture, which is correct. But again, Damien, why weren't you saying that, you know, 20 and 25 years ago when these white department stores weren't allowing you in their stores? When black people supported your ass, why wasn't you saying that then? So again, he used black people. FUBU did. They exploited black people. And now look, he's blown up. He wants to go mainstream. He wants to cross over. So he no longer needs us. So FUBU is no longer for his bias. You know, <clears throat> meaning, you know, assuming, we assume that FUBU stands for, when we said for his bias, that it'd be for black people by black people. And Damon and his crew rolled with that and used that and exploited that to blow up for the past 20, 25 years. But now since they blow it up and, you know, they profited from it and they're all rich and they got money. Yeah, it doesn't mean that. It never meant that. But why didn't you say that 20, 25 years ago, Damon John and the, uh, the other owners of FUBU? <coughs> who you never really hear from. Only, you only hear from Damon most of the time. You never hear from the other owners. So the question is, why didn't you say that 25 years ago? Why do you choose to reveal this now? That's the question. That's what I don't understand. So again, Damon wanted to go mainstream. He wanted to cross over. So you can't be unapologetically black and cross over and go mainstream.
you know, I guess Damon knows that. So that's why he was like, hey, FUBU, uh, never meant for us by us or, you know, <clears throat> never assume that it meant for black people by black people. That is for everyone, which is true. Anyone could buy it, but it's OK to have an unapolog unapologetically black brand that everyone loves. There's nothing wrong with that. Even even John Johnson says that in his book, Suc Succeeding Against the Odds. You know, John Johnson said in his book, the owner or the founder of Ebony Magazine, he said that you sell to each other, to your own people, and then allow everyone else to integrate in. That's what everybody does. That's what Jews do. That's what Koreans do. That's what Chinese do. You know, you create a market for your people. You sell to your people. And then you allow everyone else to integrate in. And I was under the assumption that that's what FUBU was. That FUBU was an unapologetically black brand. But per Damon John, it never was. But again, he rolled with that and he exploited that to become rich. Just to tell us that, uh, you know, the past 20, 25 years when I was building the brand, you know, when again, white department stores block, blackballed us and we had to go to black entertainers to wear our gear, to market our gear so we could blow up. I led you guys to think or to wrongfully assume that it was for us, by us, or for black people, by, by black people. And I didn't want to correct anybody because I didn't want to blow my cover. But now since I'm rich and I'm, you know, a multi-millionaire, fuck it. It was, I, it never meant that because I'm trying to cross over. And when you cross over, you can't be unapologetic, unapologetically black. That's what he's saying. Even though John Johnson said specifically, you sell to each other, you build for your community, for your people, and then allow everyone else outside, outside your community to integrate. But with, you know, Damon John, that wasn't the case. But he lied for the last 20, 25 years. And then plus, too, you never hear from the other owners. I would like to hear from the other founders of FUBU, you know, their thoughts on that. But you never do. So I don't know if Damon bought him out before, you know, he sold the company or what happened. But I would love to hear from the other owners. Um, follow me on social media. Search for Huru, Instagram, Facebook, um, Twitter, and Snapchat. Till next time. Daddy Samir, I'm out.